there's a catch. When you borrow from each other, you create this illusion of infinite demand. And that's exactly how bubbles start. Right now, OpenAI alone has about one trillion worth of deals on paper. That's a bigger budget than most countries. Meta's pouring $10 billion into Google's servers. AMD's giving OpenAI a stake just so they'll buy chips. NVIDIA's agreeing to pay CoreWeave $6.3 billion for unused cloud capacity. Capacity built with NVIDIA chips. It's like a hall of mirrors. Every deal reflecting another deal. Every valuation feeding the next one. And experts, they're nervous. They've seen this before. Dot-com companies used to lend money to clients just so they could buy their own services. Analysts call it vendor financing. Back then, it helped fuel the dot-com bubble. And when the loop stopped spinning, the crash was brutal. Sound familiar? To make all these AI dreams real, the world would need about $2 trillion a year in AI revenue by 2030. Right now, we're hundreds of billions short. If that gap doesn't close, the money loop breaks. When that happens, companies like NVIDIA and OpenAI could suddenly find their demand wasn't real demand, just financial momentum running out of road. But the tech giants say this isn't a bubble. It's a revolution. They say this is the internet all over again, a once in a generation infrastructure build out. So what do you think? Is this a bubble waiting to burst or the foundation of the next trillion dollar revolution? Because if everyone's investing in everyone else, eventually someone has to be the customer.